Hi, I'm Lee Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and on today's episode I'm actually going to start by asking you a question. Have you ever noticed mysteriously an app icon shows up on the left hand side of your dock on the Mac? Or mysteriously an app icon shows up on the bottom left hand corner of your iOS device and you've wondered what up with that? Well here's what's up with that. That's a really cool feature called Handoff. And what Handoff allows you to do, it allows you to pick up from where you've left off working on something on your iOS device on your Mac or vice versa. Let me give an example. So here I am on my iPhone and I've started typing out an email to my wife. And I've realized that, you know, there's actually going to be a longer email than I was planning for it to be. So it's probably easier for me to keep typing on my Mac because you've got the full size keyboard. I could tip tap with my thumb but easy to go at the keyboard. As soon as I've got mail open on my iPhone, have a look on my Mac. On the bottom left hand side there, next to the end of the dock, is a mail icon. Hmm. If I move my mouse over it, it says mail from iPhone. And if I click on it, give it a couple of seconds, that email disappears off my iPhone and hey presto, appears on my Mac. Pretty cool, right? Now the way it does this is it uses iCloud, so it uses your iCloud account to sign into all these devices so that they talk to each other and it's talking over Bluetooth. The reason why Bluetooth is really handy as opposed to Wi-Fi is you could be in the middle of a field and you could still do this without being on a Wi-Fi network. Now obviously Bluetooth the range isn't as wide but for most you know, big rooms it's going to work fine and if your room is bigger than the range of Bluetooth you're probably so rich that you have people to type things out for you and you don't really care about this. Now, the next way that I use this is going from a Mac to an iOS device. And most times it's when I'm reading something on my Mac. So here I've got a web page open. It's a review of the Nebula 4100 Lite written by this. Oh, it was written by me. Hmm. And I want to keep reading this article in another room of my house that I have to suddenly go to. And I don't want to take my Mac with me. I want to take my iPad with me. So all I do is I click on my iPad and you'll notice on the lock screen here, there's a Safari button. And if I just flick up and then unlock my iPad, give it a couple of secs and that web page now opens up on my iPad and I can then just pick up my iPad and go to that other room that I need to go to quite urgently now. If you found this helpful, subscribe and be sure to check out more tips coming soon.